Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've been posting, but last week I was very lucky to get one of the first rides with full self-driving in a Tesla on the Danish highways, roadways, countryways, what's it called, roads. And it was a beautiful, amazing and eye-opening experience. I have been following the technology developing, progressing closely, you know, on YouTube over the last few years where there's been, they've been running beta tests in the United States and Canada with the newest version of full self-driving. This newest version is not allowed on the Danish and the European roads yet, but things are slowly starting to change, thankfully. So I thought I'd post this video where me and my good friend Frederick, we had the chance to drive around in downtown Kø, a little village town in uh, the country of Denmark, testing out this latest software because Tesla is right now rolling out test rides for customers interested in seeing what this technology really is uh, is able to, to do at this point because it is super advanced. It's really amazing stuff because it fucking drives itself. And this is very profound and very important, I think, and it's been kind of taking up a lot of my time thinking about how non-trivial and significant this is because right now, at this moment, today 50 people got killed on average and on average 50 people get killed on the European roads every day. Each and every day 50 families are devastated and crushed for years because of traffic accidents and I think it's such a shame that we just take that for granted. They are now for the first time in history there exists a technology that can actually make this not a necessary loss that we just accept because the truth of the matter is that 90% of all traffic accidents are caused by human error on the roads that being people being distracted being on the phone being drunk being tired falling asleep behind the wheel and ending their lives or even worse other people's lives because of these human error and what's just amazing is that tech that Tesla uh, has been able to develop this technology that can actually help society save those people. So every day that we not allow this technology on the European and the Danish roads, we are effectively, I don't know this is gonna sound rough, but killing 40, around 45 people because of the potential of this technology. Because if in the best case scenario that all cars on the European roads would be driving full self-driving, which at some point in the future they will. I know a lot of people are gonna think I'm high when I say that, but at some point they will. Mark my words. It's gonna be a rollout that's gonna take some years, of course, but yeah, out of these 50 people that die every day, 45 people are killed because of these human error 90%, which could be avoided. And the last, the, the last five, 10% is, is probably also things that we could avoid. So best case scenario, we could not have any tra traffic accidents at all. Now, now I'm gonna cut this because I can talk about this for hours, but check out the video and hit me up with comments or questions in the, uh, in the comments below because I think this is very important and I'm very passionate about it. I'm gonna be covering more of this rollout of the technology uh, in the future and do more Tesla related content. So if you are interested in that stuff, be sure to subscribe. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. See you in the next one. Oh, you started it nice. So now we picked a route where we got to choose it ourselves, just to make sure that they're not planning the whole thing like a, like a theater. But um, yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting point to have that Tesla did not plan any specific uh, press routes in advance we can choose wherever we want to go in the city and we can if we want like we can, we can just pick our own route and the car will be able to uh, to manage no matter what route we pick Did you notice that it just like hold it back for this uh, little family yeah I'm just standing on the side of the road. yeah i wouldn't even have noticed that no I because know. it's quite dark and a lot is going on and yeah and it they were, they were quite like far away from the road but they and they're standing there and it's still Back to it. That's quite yeah. 
Oi, look at this now, look at this now. This is extremely narrow. This is very, very tight. There's a car trying to park on the right. Now it pulls into the right to make space for the truck. And it just, it just feels... Wow. Look, here's some uh, national treasure from Denmark on the left. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but it just feels like a very, what is it called? Like, um, what is it called when you are hoofly? Like a polite human polite. being. Yeah. Like it's not, it's, it's and it's not, it's very polite, yeah. and it's not, um, it's not like excessively braking or excessively hitting the accelerator. The, the accelerator. It's just, it's just yeah, very bus smooth. Coming up on the left. Bus. Pastor station. Yeah, my girlfriend. When we were driving around for three days in the cyber truck, she was also like. So you didn't want to go back to me driving after because it was so <laughs> yeah. comfortable for her. But I feel like that with my, I have the enhanced autopilot on my Tesla Model Y. And w as soon as I get on a highway, I just want to activate it as quickly yeah. as possible Can't because... It. No, and it's also, I don't know if we talked about that earlier, but I think Tesla has data on like um, accident rates. And I mm. think you are seven times less likely to be in an accident if you have activated Tesla's uh, uh, autopilot function and FSD function, stuff like that. So, so and yeah. that is measured by the amount of miles driven. So and based on the 10, 10 billion kilometers they've collected. So yeah, so it's just you're, you're seven times less likely to be in an accident when you have this system uh, activated. That is quite profound. That actually. is quite crazy. I'm actually a bit like surprised that not more people are talking about the you, you know the fatality rate and the problem with car crashes in you know in, in the public sphere in Europe. Mm. Very few people talk about it, but it is quite a quite a big problem. And now we have finally have a solution. Yeah, this could be the solution to something that we have just like accepted as a part yeah. of reality. Like it's. Uh, just like we accept it, I don't, I don't know. But back in the day, you could die from getting the flu. But now we have uh, vaccines and medications and stuff. And, and now it would be quite weird if someone in the Western world died from like the flu. Mm. Uh, but that was just part of living back then. Like it is part of living to die in traffic accidents now. But maybe in 10 years, that will be the past. For sure. I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that this is going to be very quickly going to be the new norm and people are just going to think how the hell did we manage to drive without a It's going to feel quite strange to have a human, human driving a car in a few years. Mm. And we haven't had any interventions yet. I, the video I saw on YouTube with uh, Daniel's ping tips, the, the Tesla employee had to press the accelerator a couple of times, I think maybe two or three times when they were parked at red lights. But let's see here, green light and it just exactly as I would have done. Very mm. gentle, smooth acceleration, exactly as the light turns green. So I don't know if they if they did a software update yeah, since yeah, Daniel was there. <laughs> but okay, this is also interesting. Yeah, quick. Again, a tight, narrow road into a tunnel. It's a bit darker in here, but very comfortable speed. Would you have gone any? Would you have gone any faster or slower here? No, I don't think so. I think I would have I done exactly the same. It's pretty tight. Yeah. Yeah. It keeps the speed limit. So. Oh, okay. The speed limit is forty. Yeah. Which is also nice. I, that is one of the things that I I, would, I stress a lot about. I don't want to take it for speeding. So every time I'm driving, I'm always like, did I did I notice the the speed? Did it change? How far fast am I supposed to go here? And you're always like checking how fast you're going. But with this system, you just completely eliminate that. You don't have to stress about it. The car just knows like how fast it's supposed to go. Mm. It's, it's quite a relief. So now we, we picked a, a route where we're going into a kind of an industrial area. Hopefully we can encounter some unusual hmm. conditions, let's see. I feel like I thought Curry would be more busy at this time. What is it like? 4.20? It's 4.20. It's 4.20. It's 4.20. <laughs> the time is 4.20. It, well, it's yeah. a sign. It's a sign from the it guards. It is a sign. Uh, yeah, but it's not so busy at 4.20 in Curry, <laughs> apparently. I heard Curry is up and coming. Up and coming, yeah? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've been in downtown Curry. No. 
Let's see what we got. Did you buy your Tesla from... No, no, you bought it used, right? From a private person, yeah. yeah. I bought it in Kyrgyz. Oh, from the... Yeah, but Tesla. also yeah. used from Tesla, yeah. yeah. That's why I have the enhanced autopilot. Autopilot? No, but it's... Uh, I mean, <laughs> it just feels like we've been driven <laughs> by a, a by very chauffeur. capable uh, chauffeur. It, it is actually Patience surreal because I, I feel used to it already. It's like... I mean, it's just it's just doing it now. It's waiting patiently for. We are in a roundabout. I don't know round. Oh, there's a bike. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is an interesting one actually. It is. Is there a bike behind us now? That's fine. But roundabouts is something. For example, my enhanced yeah. autopilot will not take no, do a roundabout. So that is like new that it can do that. But yeah, pretty uh, uneventful. And we also get to experience Denmark um, on a December day. I have done some vlogs from Copenhagen on sunny days, but this is how, what is it called? This is the reality of living in Denmark in December. It's uh, four, it's 4.22 and it's dark outside. It's it. We haven't seen the sun for months. <laughs> but it, it can, Luckily, uh, both Joachim and I, we are going to Thailand uh, very soon to to spend the winter there and get some okay, sunlight. What we got here. Okay, interesting. The car is still just doing. My camera is like all over the place, but uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not back for the answer. Yeah. Okay, it's real good. I th I don't I think it's do you do you think it's safe to say that Tesla FSD software has never been here? Like we we picked this route. This is a new route. This is a different place. Damn. I think this is probably the first time that it's been here. So it's not like it's trained on these streets to be able to handle them. They just do exactly. If you are a person driving in a new area. It's just doing exactly the same. What is it going to do here? This is a, what's a blend right called? This is a dead end? Is that the not? Yeah, it's a dead end. It's a dead end. It looks like the destination is in there, so it's... it's interesting dead. what it's going to do now. Yeah. So the, the skate park is in that building, it looks like. So this is probably oh, yeah. okay. So we so we chose a destination inside a building, so it just parked outside the building. Yeah. So I will stop the recording again now. <laughs>